Hey, what's up? It's time for another rousing CSS battle. We are going to be creating a Pac-Man image here, and we're gonna be doing it in 12 minutes, or at least attempting to do it in 12 minutes. So, guys, are we ready? Yeah, Let's do so it. what are we doing here? We're doing shortest amount? Shortest amount, highest score. So shortest amount and the closest. Okay. You ready? I'm ready, yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to goof this one up. I'm going to give myself a Pac-Man. Oh, damn, I don't have my Emmet every single time. So I'm using this little BG color trick. I learned it from the FAQ. I'm trying to learn things from the FAQ. We have several shapes here, uh, one of which can be box shadows, three circles. So let's do a, a Pac-Man with a P, with a, an attribute of P and we'll also have a style tag. Actually, since this is just, I don't know, is that shorter characters? I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna worry about optimizing until the end, okay? Okay, so immediately, let's just make the background black. So I'm gonna target everything. We will do uh, background black and also set the margin to zero. Okay, that is going to be Pac-Man. And then we want dots and we want the ghost. Now we need some style tags. Body background is black. Okay, I'm going to place everything first and then worry about getting it all right because I always goof that up. Uh, background, um, it's this yellow color. There's no possible way of shortening that. It is height wise, I don't even know. Let's say 40, 30 VH. Let's say 32. You might be wondering why I'm doing VH for this. VH is gonna be shorter than 100 pixels because it's definitely more than 100 pixels. I mean, maybe it's not. I don't know, like I said, I'll optimize later. Make that a little yellow thing. So we use this attribute selector here. It's much shorter. Let's go ahead and remove all this stuff and this so we can stay as short as possible. And then Pac-Man is gonna have a background of yellow and let's give him a width of, let's try 100 and a height of 100. Uh, that's too much. Let's try like 50. Maybe that's it. And then let's add our border radius. I know we can do 50%. That's three characters. Yeah, three characters is fine. Maybe we can get it in two characters, like one view width. Nine view width. Yeah. Yeah. Seven VW is three characters. Wait, that's the same amount. 50%. It's more clear. Okay. So we have a circle. I'm using attributes here instead of selectors. I'm not worried about uh, getting this too short right away. I just want to get them to show up on the page. Okay, so each of these, can we grab all the divs? Width 100px, height 100px. Okay, then we will grid, template, columns, 1fr, 1fr, 1fr. Okay. Oh, it's got to be height 100%. Oh, that's looking good already. Honestly, though, instead of doing position fixed, uh, let's just create a container that has Pac-Man and the dots and everything inside of that. that. That actually should make things a bit easier. So we'll have a P with an attribute of C. That's going to be our container. And that's going to have Pac-Man inside of it. So let's say the body is a flex box. Actually, if I do a grid and then place content center, yeah, and then just give it a height. So the body has a height of 100%. Uh, Okay. I'm going to add a display flex on here, and we're going to have this be align content center, justify content center. We'll have a gap of, let's say, 40 pixels or something. You know, whether or not this needs to stay like this is yet to be seen. Okay. So we have this P, we have uh, with another P with a D, PD. So we got a P with a P and a P with a D. And we also need to justify content center. Justify items. Okay, close enough, right? Let's add a container for the three dots. So we'll do P of D. Let's actually do P of Z. That's the container for the three dots inside of here. And then that's going to have several uh, P of D's inside of it. So we'll have three P of D's. Flex, oh man, why am I blinking on that property? To get everything align items center. Is align items center? No. Man, flex, uh, flex, dear gosh. First of all, Pac-Man is going to be border radius 50%. Okay, the dots. 
Uh, let's worry about that later. I hate that this formatting is so effed up. Give me my auto indent. Uh, border radius, 50%, 50%, zero, zero. Okay. Eight minutes left. I have a lot of code and not a lot on the screen. Okay, so P of C, um, we'll give it a width of 10 and a height of 10 and a background of white. Okay, there are, are they all on top of each other? Oh no, they're all uh, beside each other. So we need to, so this should actually be P of D. Yeah, so there's three of them, great. I think I just have to absolutely position all the stuff. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. One dot, that's great. Now let's make our last guy, which is uh, P. And this is going to be a V for villain. I don't know what these guys are called. He's a ghost, but and a, I got a P with a D, a P with a P and a P with a V, I guess. Okay, not intentional folks. Uh, this guy needs to be quite a bit different. And you know what? Uh, this is gonna drive me nuts because you could do this so many different darn ways, um, but let's just do it as a rectangle. We're gonna do a height of 20 VH and a width of uh, 20 VH for now. And we're gonna do a border radius, radius. I cannot afford to not finish this. Let me get rid of that. And then we'll just absolutely position Pac-Man. I'm gonna have to fix position every single one of those dots. Only five minutes left. This is not looking good. Okay, uh, let's bring it up a little bit, like 130, 120, and then we'll give it a left as well. Let's do 40, 50, almost there. So probably like 55. It's not quite big enough, maybe 60. Let's try a width and height of 60. Okay, so it's looking better. It just needs to go up a little bit. Yes, okay, that's it. That gives us our yellow Pac-Man circle. Okay, that seems to be the right height. The width is slightly shorter. Hey, okay, probably 70. Yeah, 70 pixels, okay. We might not even need to do gap here if we can just do this all with the margin, which we're gonna have to do anyways. So if we need to do margin anyways, oh man, Scott proud of you okay i'm so i'm so i'm so proud of me all right i cannot is that drake i hope that's not drake if that song is drake i'm gonna be upset with myself oh five minutes left i'm not gonna hit this hmm maybe we just want margin dash left we just bump it over yeah okay now let's position these dots only four minutes left this is not looking good so we'll give it a top of 140 145 a left of 200, it's too much, 100, 160, 170. That's about the right spot. Let's just make these all uh, circles. So we'll give it a border radius, 50%. Move it over. Oh, that looks good. Look at the diff on that. Close enough. Okay, now let's work on, let's get the ghost. 55, 56, 57. Yeah, okay, height, 50, 40, no, 55. Okay, perfect, that's the right size. So if I do now a margin left on this bad boy and have it be, does that push everything else off? It does. So this is gonna be like a lot of finagling here. Three minutes, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Translate and we'll have um, negative 10 pixels, negative uh, 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 okay, negative 14 pixels translate. Only two minutes left. I'm gonna create a red circle for the ghost and that should at least get me a higher score. So we'll create another P of G. So that's gonna be our ghosty. Let's actually give it all the similar styles of Pac-Man. So we'll do P of P, but then we'll just change the background color. So P of G, we'll give it a left of probably 300 and then make it that red color. I will be shocked if any of these other guys get this done in time because holy cow, this was not enough time. Man, I'm so good at this. Okay, how do we do the cutouts? I mean, we'll do an eye with a cut inside of Pac-Man. Um, 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 oh, I got a relative Pac-Man himself. Man, I actually got the size on these kind of like dead on first try. That is absolutely incredible. Translate 14 pixels on the V, okay. Man, I'm watching this clock here, ticking down two minutes, woof. And watch this trick. So border, 50% solid red. No, 50 PX. We don't want a width or a height. Oh, there we go. So how big is Pac-Man? 60. So if we put a 30 pixel border on there 
and we make the border transparent and then the border dash right is going to be black uh, border right color see if that's red it's already cut out but if i make it transparent oh we don't want the background that's why yes okay all right good Oh, that's not good. Okay, whatever. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm slightly concussed. I mean, I only have a minute and a half left. Let's just make a black box that rotates right on top of the uh, Pac-Man. So uh, let's make one more div that has a P of B because it's the black box. But it'll also be positioned in the exact same spot as Pac-Man. But P of B, uh, we'll set the border radius to zero. Give it a background of black. Uh, how do I cut this triangle out? You could do it with a box. You could do it with, oh man. Oh, how do you get this triangle out? 46 seconds. Um, what do I do? And like, will this actually, oh my God, 40 seconds. So transform, rotate 45 degrees, move it more to the left. Ah, oh, but then it's gonna cover up the square. Oh, let's just try, I have 30 seconds left. 60, so if we go like 80, 90, 100. Yeah, does that do it? We have a Pac-Man with 18 seconds left. Sweet, okay. Guys, we're cooked. I feel like I could use more time. Do yeah. you wanna do a few more minutes? Um, I, I would do a few more minutes because then I would have time to uh, finish and get to 100%. Yeah, yeah, I got some cool tricks. Let's, let's okay. do a few more minutes. Uh, how many more, five or? I don't care, I'm Three? working. <laughs> <laughs> We've been given extra time. So a 99.1% match, I think I probably could have taken the V on that one, but we'll see. Okay, so let's work on this P. I can have it be background, zero, zero, zero. I can have it be a height of something like 50 picks, uh, width of 40 picks. I'm afraid that CJ is gonna win this again. Let's actually work on the red square first. So that way he has a little skirt. We're gonna have the ghost skirt, so. P of G of S will have border radius of zero. Bring the height down to uh, 100. No, that's way too big. 50 pixels, probably like 30 or so. Yeah, and then just bring it down. Watch this little trick. See these little spaces? Font size zero, puts them all side by side. Beautiful. Margin dash top 10 PX, there we go. Let's do that. 30, 40, 50. 40, okay. Oh, can I just rotate them? Oh, you can't rotate something that's inline block, can you? Oh, it's because it's 45 degrees. You can rotate them. Oh yeah. I don't need the border trick. All right, screw that. We're gonna rotate it 45 deg, and then we're gonna, you could do a left of negative 40 picks. No, you could do a left of 40 picks, uh, 80 picks, 100 picks. Oh, come on. I'm just shooting in the darn dark here. Let's just go with W. So <laughs> PG of W will be that first black box. Actually, we could, if we give it PG of B, now it will be a black box like this one here. All right, I got that done. I'm working with this negative view. And in that, in that regard, I can do the same thing with another one. And this way I can at least get a 100% match on this bad boy. And again, we're gonna have it be white. We're not gonna have it be 50 picks. We'll just have it be 10 picks this time. We'll have it be 20 picks this time. We'll have it be 20 picks this time. The dots, can I put them up here? Okay, font size 20 PX, 40, 50, 60, 70, okay. Why is it so high? Okay, so let's get rid of that background black and then just get it in exactly the right spot. 170, 180, 180 is it. Okay, with a minute left, we have one, <laughs> one little skirt. We're gonna do 51, 52. This is gonna be color black to get this on here. And then we're gonna do a box shadow on this bad boy. At this point, I should just add classes. <laughs> That's perfect. We have 30 seconds left. I think I can do I can do the last one. Yeah, plenty of time. Zero, 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 zero. That didn't do anything. With 12 seconds left, and we can get rid of one character there. Two characters. <laughs> can we just add spaces? What are the chances that the spaces work? No. Um, shoot. All right, let's see what these hosers have to say. How'd you do? I got uh, such a kerfuffle at the end on mine. I swear, I don't know what's going on. I did box shadow, 15 picks, zero, zero, and then the color, and it's just not fucking showing up. Um. Where is it? 
Oh, I found out what's going on. I just changed it white just to see where it went. Because it was a square rotated, when you do box shadow, it's like putting it down here on oh, the X value. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your origins yeah. are all flipped. All right. So oh, nice. It looks, good. Hey, it looks um, good. Yeah. In this case, I didn't worry about doing it like shorter than normal because I always fuss mm. on that. I, I did do the like attribute trick. Yeah. But like it 99.7% match and like my dots are so far. Yeah. But I just panicked at the end and I literally just used a, a Unicode dot. Um, but oh. for the, the cutouts. Smart. On here, I used a um, the border trick where mm. yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You put four borders with the zero width div, and then they they angle in. And on this one, I just used three. Can we see that? Elements. Can we see that triangle code? The other yeah, one. Yeah, this is a cutout. So border okay, right. So, you, so if I make that red, so you see yeah. that's the cutout. So you made a whole element that did it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll share mine. So yeah, I did uh, largely the same thing as US, but I did it with only five elements here oh, where I have, the, I, I have the p i have the d and the v and so we have p, a pac-man i got the p <laughs> the d and the v the pac-man was just a circle and then i did the box which is a all inline just a rotated black square damn yeah, nothing crazy i was doing the same thing with this one and i was going to rotate it but you can see like at the end here when i did that box shadow rotated put it down here oh shoot, um, and yeah. i just ran out of time the dots is just a circle and then i used margin to get the spread so i did flex box on this but then because this is a box shadow i did uneven margin so this margin and this margin being different instead of yeah. using gap <sighs> yeah I could not think of a block level element that was one character. The paragraph tag. <laughs> we do it every time. Are you uh, not paying attention I've been using every divs. time? <laughs> I've been using divs like a sucker. All right, CJ, give it to us. This is what I got. So I got 100% okay. match wow. with uh, 526 characters. It, Man, it's you not, did a lot of items. Yeah, yeah it's not It's not beautiful. Um, it's a bunch of abs, uh, fixed position elements because I was going down the path of should I like flex the body and then put everything in the center? But then I couldn't position things right. So I just backtracked and fixed position everything. But I have all these extra attributes so I can reuse some of the styles. So Pac-Man is P of P. And so that's that yellow circle. Yeah. And then P of P of B. So if you look at B, this is just a black box that's rotated 45 degrees. But by using P on there, it can reuse the... Uh, fixed position left and right, and then I only have to specify left. Oh, so and nice. you took the pixels off again. Why do I forget yep. that move? <laughs> yeah, so the I don't pixels? have P yeah, I don't have PX oh, anywhere. Oh, I forgot that too. Oh man. And then I did the same thing for this over. This is a red circle, and then three black rotated uh, rectangles. And so I got really creative with the extra attributes because each one, <laughs> like reused the the all the CSS of the previous one, but then I needed more CSS, so I just added an extra attribute oh, man, that could like modify great. that one property. Can I just say how infuriating it is that I don't have all my editor like shortcuts <laughs> and stuff? <laughs> yeah, and, that's like, part of what when makes you it hit, so hard. When you hit enter in like a CSS, it like indents it sometimes. Mm. Drives me nuts. We need like um prettier running on this. Yeah. Oh, totally. Darn, CJ. <laughs> I, I was hoping to tie you back up. Uh, yeah. Now, CJ, I got to win two more now to get ahead of CJ if we're looking at these rankings. <laughs> I was getting worried. The timer was getting down, and I was like, am I going to be able to do this? But yeah, I pulled it out. Yeah, that, was a, that went fast. That time went way too yeah, fast. Yeah, man, so. that, it, that goes so fast. Woof. Good job, everybody. That's all we have for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.